So what do you reckon, my friend? Oh, shit. <laughs> I know it's hot. G'day guys, here we go today. I was about to say it's another beautiful day on my side of the planet, but it's bloody freezing outside. It's almost friggin' snowing here again. So Pete thought he'd do a video today, and I'm gonna show you my new plasma cutter, which is the first 65 amp machine that I've ever had, compared to a normal 50 amp machine. And as you can see guys, these are both exactly the same brand. So will the 65 amp machine cut better than the 50 amp machine? Anyway guys, let's find out. Same as usual, if you like my videos, remember to subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it, eh? So my friends, like I was saying, this is my latest toy, I mean tool, that I've got in the workshop, and this is my first 65 amp machine. It's, it's a true 65 amp cutter. Now what you've got to bear in mind here, guys, is that I am only running on 15 amps on 220 volt. If you're using it on 110, I think you're only going to get like 35 or 40 amps. But anyway, in this comparison, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut something like this, which is 10, 12 mil thick, and we'll see the difference between a 50 amp machine like this one here, or the 65 amp machine like this one here. And also what I'm going to use, guys, is I'm going to use exactly the same torch in both machines, so we get like a fair comparison. And that way, guys, you'll be able to sort out for yourself whether it's worthwhile buying the little bit more expensive machine, or just sticking with a 50 amp machine, especially if you've only got a limited amount of voltage. So if we kick the 65 amp machine in the guts, guys, you can see it's all uh, digital readout, so we know exactly what PSI we're cutting at, and at the moment we're on 15 amp, so if we run that right up, you can see that it'll go to 65 amp. And I don't know on 15 amp circuitry in my garage whether it's actually gonna be worthwhile having a bigger machine. But if I had a bit more current to play with in the workshop, I'm sure it would make a huge difference. But anyway, guys, you gotta use what you got, eh? So there we are, we're at 65 amp, we're running at 86 PSI, and as you can see there guys, I'm running it on 220 volt. So now let's plug the little baby brother one in, and this one is almost identical, but this only goes up to 50 amps. So if we turn this machine on guys, this is what we get. Once again, we've got the digital readout, it'll light up in a minute. There we go, and we're running at 50 amps, and we can't go any higher than 50. See that there guys, so we've got 15 up to 50 and we're running at 59 psi at 220 volts. So let's start with the smaller machine guys, the 50 amp machine, and let's try and cut some 10, 12 mil steel and see how she cuts. So like I said before guys, we're gonna use the same earth and the same torch, so we've actually got a fair comparison between the two machines. So let's just change it over, eh? Start with the smallest one first, Pete. Just swap them over, over. <laughs> As you notice, guys, these two machines have interchangeable torches, so it's really handy. In fact, a lot of this gear has the torch that you can interchange between machine and machine. It just makes it a lot easier depending on what sort of steel you're actually cutting. And last but not least, guys, the pilot arc wire. So, we're all set to go. Let's get into it. Let's do some cutting, eh? So my friends, I'm not going to worry about cutting something really thin. We're going to start with 10, 11 millimeters and see what the difference is between the two machines. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Rightio, we're running at 57 PSI at 50 amp. Let's see if she'll cut. There we go, guys. There we go. Not really much of a problem. Shit, that's hot, Pete. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, see that, guys? So we're 10, 11 mil at 50 amps. Not really a problem. Let's try it with the bigger machine. So if we turn the 50 amp one off, guys, just like so, and then once again, we'll just swap the torches over, and then we'll hit the 65 amp one, and we'll see what happens, eh? Like I said before guys, it's really good that a lot of these machines you can interchange the torches Which means you can use whatever sort of torch you want on all your individual machines 
I don't know if you're anything like me, I've got heaps of these machines, I've got about 10 or 12 different sorts of plasma cutters and I like to use the same torch on various machines. It gives me a fairer comparison if you know what I mean. Anyway, Pete, stop waffling and let's change this torch over. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but the rain's on the roof outside there. It's quite horrible here today. Good excuse to pick the video. And once again, guys, don't forget your pilot arc wire. And here we go, guys. Bigger machine, same torch. So let's do the same cut again. All right, my friends, let's kick this one in the guts. Let's wait for it to light up there. And we should have contact. Here we go, we've got it at 65 amps, that's the maximum it's going to run at and we've got about 56 psi which is about the same as what we had the other machine set up as. So we've got the same bit of steel and old peach is still warm. So let's see if we can whack a corner off this bit and see if there's any difference guys. Yeah! Right, let's go for it. Is there any difference with an extra 10 amps? So what do you reckon my friend? Oh shit! <laughs> I know it's hot. Let me grab something and pick that up. <laughs> so my friends, do you reckon that cut any quicker or any cleaner? What do you reckon? Personally I think the bigger machine has got a little bit more oomph behind it. But like I say I'm only running on 15 and 16 amp circuits which gives me a really big disadvantage. So my friends, bigger or smaller machine? What do you reckon? You be the judge. Like I say, I reckon the uh, bigger one has just got a little bit more oomph, but I think I need some higher amperage circuits in my shed, that's the only thing. That's the big disadvantage that I have because also when I'm running the plasma cutter and the compressor kicks in, I normally blow all the circuit breakers in the garage. So hopefully you guys haven't got that problem. Mind you, if you're running on 110, I think it would be even worse. Put in the comments below if you're running these things on 110 what they're like. Anyway guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And we'll see you next time, eh? Bye! PeachTools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.